Meanwhile, here at home, the 20-year-old suspected drunk driver who blew through a red light in Escondido Saturday night, causing a horrific crash that killed a 13-year-old boy, made his first court appearance today. The judge denied him bail despite having no priors. Fox 5's Misha DeBono was in court. She talked with that 13-year-old victim's family and joins us from the Vista Courthouse. It's going to get harder, <laughs> especially the day that we put him to rest. Sometimes I'm in shock still. I can't believe it. The mother of 13 year old Rodrigo Tapia Jr., killed in a drunk driving accident Saturday night in Escondido, shares her grief following the arraignment of 20 year old Alex Arose, the driver in a high speed collision. Her daughter, the defendant's girlfriend, also in the car. I can't imagine how he was feeling <laughs> when he was coming down the hill. He told them to stop. Stop. My daughter did too, and he kept on pushing the, pushing the gas pedal. <laughs> the crash happened just before 10 o'clock at the intersection of North Broadway and Country Club Lane in Escondido. According to the prosecution, Arose was driving drunk and extremely fast when he blew through a red light. He was arrested on suspicion of felony DUI and gross vehicular manslaughter. Officers said that he showed no remorse when asked six times. The fact that he has complete lack of remorse, the fact that he had no, he shows no regard for public safety when he was speeding through a 40 miles per hour posted zone. He was speeding between 91 to 119 miles per hour. The defense asked for no bail and supervised release with an alcohol monitoring device. The prosecution asked bail to be set at $500,000. The judge had other ideas. Additionally, the fact that the speeds were extreme, they weren't just unsafe, they were reckless. In this case, I am not going to set bail in this case. It's going to be zero. And the mother acknowledging that Arose, you know, he's ruined his life. She feels bad for that. But also her daughter out of the hospital, but she has lost her brother and her boyfriend. Arose, meantime, will be back in court on May 15th. Again, the judge set no bail. From Vista, I'm Misha DeBono. Tragic for everyone all around. Misha, thank you.